Welcome back everyone, today we'll be looking at the 7 dumbest, wildest and strangest real things people have done on board a cruise ship that got them kicked off, banned for life, served jail time or even get a sit down with the FBI. If you have yet, please consider subscribing for more traveling content and without further ado, let's get straight into today's crazy stories. A quick dip. On board Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas, which has just docked in Nassau, Bahamas, a hungover passenger wakes up still drunk from last night. He sees his friends on the 11th floor balcony and bets that he can jump off the ship. His friends cheer him on as he stands on the balcony railing 125 feet above the sea. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy Jumping from this height is a 95% chance of death. Luckily, the passenger survives and the nearby tugboat comes to his rescue. But the force of impact has permanently damaged his neck and tailbone and the passenger was unable to sleep for the next three days. Both he and his friends were immediately kicked off the cruise ship. We're getting kicked off the boat. And were of course permanently banned from cruising on Royal Caribbean ships. Next, we have a truly wild, crazy story that I had to read several times just to make sure that I read it correctly. So brace yourself. Oops, anchor. In 2010, a 44-year-old California businessman enjoys a formal night on board Holland America's Rindam ship. At dinner, he drinks four glasses of wine, followed by three shots of vodka, before returning to his room to sleep. On his way to bed, he decides to take the sleeping drug Ambien, before completely changing his mind and going to the casino. While playing, he orders five single and four double martinis, before the bar closes in the early morning hours. After everyone leaves, the unsatisfied, intoxicated passenger breaks into the liquor cabinet and consumes a quarter bottle of Grey Goose vodka. At 5.30 am, he then sneaks into the aft crew-only area, which is captured on CCTV here, and makes his way to the anchor release system. The passenger, who owns a 50-foot yacht himself, then wanted to, quote, try the anchor out. And while the ship is moving full speed at 18 knots an hour, he actually managed to drop the ship's stern anchor. You can actually see the CCTV camera shaking as the ship is rocked by the opposing forces. The engines try to move the ship forward, but the anchor tries to keep it back. The whole ship comes to a halt. The captain, startled by what has happened, looks out of the bridge and spots a lifebuoy in the middle of the ocean and immediately orders an emergency muster station to make sure no one got injured by the incident and to count all 1600 passengers on board. Meanwhile, the intoxicated businessman is found by ship security and he admits to lowering the anchor and throwing a lifebuoy overboard, quote, just for fun. The passenger gets locked up until the ship safely docks in Tampa, Florida, several hours later, where the FBI come on board to interrogate him. Given the serious danger of his actions, which could have disabled the ship's propellers and even led to the ship's sinking, putting at risk over 2,000 lives, the passenger is arrested and prosecuted on charges of attempting to damage, destroy, disable or wreck a vessel. He is found guilty but got off easily, only being sentenced to 4 months imprisonment, 3 years probation and a $7,500 fine. Next up, hashtag InstaFamous. As the allure of the seas approaches Royal Caribbean's private island resort of Labadee, Haiti, a passenger sees a lady climbing on her balcony's railing. Thinking she might jump off the ship, he immediately alerts crew of the situation. After the passenger gets identified, she explains that she was actually just trying to take pictures for her Instagram feed and didn't understand what all the fuss was about. She and her companion were both kicked off the ship in the next port of Fullmouth, Jamaica for endangering themselves and were banned from Royal Caribbean for life. Next, we actually don't have a passenger, but a crew member getting kicked off. One day, Gomez, a Brazilian national that has been working on the Disney Wanderer as a merchandise host, decides to activate and steal a $40 gift card. When he realizes he got away with it, he became more brazen, taking with him several $1,000 Disney gift cards with him every single day. And no one said a thing. So while on vacation, the crew member took his whole family on an ultra luxury trip to Disney World, where he used his gift cards with the embezzled funds to pay approximately $8,200 on housing and approximately $30,000 on food, beverage, merchandise and entertainment expenses, adding up to over $37,000 for a two week family vacation. Upon returning to the ship, he continued stealing gift cards, amassing $275,000 worth of them by the end of his first year at Disney Cruise Line. 
but he was out of luck. His manager became suspicious of the sudden increase in gift card activations and upon finding out what was happening informed the FBI, who arrested a crew member on embezzlement charges. He was sentenced to 15 months in prison and will have to repay the company the $37,000 worth of costs he spent on his family earlier that year. Next up, we have an attempted viral stunt on board the Carnival Liberty. A group of teenagers on the Carnival Liberty set out to make a viral YouTube video. One of them decides that dangling off the side of the moving vessel would be a good idea and risks his life doing so as his friends film and laugh. Had he slipped, he would have immediately been pulled under the cruise ship and sucked towards the propellers, guaranteeing death. The quest at making a viral video also didn't pan out, as YouTube ends up taking down the video for promoting life-threatening actions, and Carnival investigated the incident and ended up banning the passengers for life. If you haven't realized yet, there seems to be a pattern of intoxicated passengers doing some crazy stuff. The same goes for the next story. Your fridge, my fridge. An alcoholic passenger and his friends on board a carnival cruise have finished all the liquor in the mini fridge. Unwilling to pay for the booze at a bar, they realize that the neighbor's cabin is empty and the balcony door open. While the vessel is moving, the intoxicated passenger scales the outside of the ship by climbing onto the neighboring balcony and stealing alcohol from the mini fridge. They continue doing so until a security guard spots them on CCTV and arrest them on board. They were dropped off at the next port, had to pay for their own flight home, were banned for life from carnival cruises, and had to repay the alcohol they drank in the neighbor's cabins. Here's a cruise packing tip for you. When you're traveling on a world cruise, don't bring 200 pounds of cocaine. Two Canadian women went on a stunning world cruise from London through South America all the way to Sydney, Australia. They were there on a mission though, bring $22 million worth of cocaine from a port in Peru to Sydney. Along the way, they boasted about the luxury vacation on Instagram and Facebook before docking in Australia, where the police boarded the ship after a tip-off and arrested the women. They were sentenced to seven to eight years in prison and were of course banned from future cruises. There you have it, some of the dumbest and weirdest things people did that got them kicked off their cruise. Do you know of anyone getting kicked off their cruise? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing for more traveling content. It really helps us out and gets us closer to our 10k subscriber goal for this year. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep cruising.